G'day photographers and welcome to the fourth episode of Tom's Photography Tips. Today we're going to learn how to hold your DSLR properly to help prevent what is called camera shake. Camera shake happens when movement from you or the camera creates an exposure that is blurry with no point of sharpness. Now, the shutter speed of the camera and the focal length of the lens also play crucial roles in preventing camera shake, but we'll talk about them in my next episode. So, let's get into it and show you how to hold your DSLR properly. I'm holding here a Canon EOS 1500D DSLR. And as with all DSLRs, they have a large ergonomic grip for you to place your right hand. So as you can see, my thumb slides nicely into place in the back of the camera, and my fingers wrap around the grip nice and firmly. Your pointer finger should then rest gently on the shutter release button. Not above it, not next to it, but just gently on top. This allows you to be ready to take a photograph. Your left hand is the most important hand when trying to steady the camera. I see a lot of beginner and amateur photographers even holding their camera like this or like this. Now in those positions, you don't give any support to the camera underneath it. So this is the way you should do it. Palm up, camera into your palm, and that will support the camera underneath. Your thumb and pointer finger should then extend forward. So if you're using a zoom lens, you can adjust the zoom ring, or if you're focusing manually, you will be able to adjust the manual focus ring. Either way, the camera is sitting in the palm of your left hand supporting it. So now we know how to hold the camera, let's look at the stance that you should take when you're taking a picture. Your feet should be placed around about shoulder width apart in a nice comfortable stance. Then I want you to put one foot slightly forward, either your left or right foot doesn't matter. What that's going to do again is provide a nice stable platform from which you can hold your camera as steady as possible. The next thing you want to do is bring the camera up to your face. What I don't want you to do is to lean forward towards the camera like this. That's going to give you a sore neck, sore back, particularly if you're standing taking photos for long periods of time. So make sure you bring the camera up to your face without leaning forward like this. Now be careful. When you bring that camera up to your face, I don't want you to hold the camera out in front of you because in that position, you won't be able to see the full view in the viewfinder and therefore you can't compose accurately. Also, you won't be able to see the important exposure information that is presented at the bottom of the viewfinder. So make sure you bring the camera all the way up to your face. Now, one of the only problems with doing this is that your nose can get in the way, particularly if you look straight on when taking the photo. And if you have a nose like mine, that means you're gonna squash it up against the LCD panel and put some nasty nose prints on there. So all you have to do is turn your nose slightly to the side when you bring the camera up to your face and rest the eye cup onto your brow. If you wear glasses like I do, you can either take them off or you can push your glasses up against the bridge of your nose and again, like so, bring the camera up to your face so that the camera rests on your face to give you more solid support. Like so. So now we're ready to take the photo. Your foot should be slightly forward, providing a nice stable base with your legs. The camera should be up against your face with the eye cup resting against your brow and your nose slightly off to the side so you can see the whole viewfinder. If your camera is set to autofocus mode, you should then half press the shutter release button to activate the autofocus system. It will then confirm that it is focused by giving you an audible beep if your beep is turned on and a visual confirmation in the viewfinder. Make sure you check with your eyes that it looks sharp as well because sometimes cameras can miss focus. So once the focus has been achieved, all you have to do is simply gently press down on the shutter release button to take the photo like so. And that's it. If you want to take a vertical shot, the process is exactly the same. All you have to do is rotate the camera in your hand so that your right hand is on top and then do exactly the same thing. Now, as I said in my next episode, we're going to look at the effect that the shutter speed of the camera and the focal length of the lens also play in controlling camera shake. Until then, thank you for watching, and remember, compose, expose, focus, and shoot.